Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! The chorus of Labour MPs, activists and grandees calling for Jeremy Corbyn to go continues to mount. We heard earlier from Lord Kinnock, all Labour's living former leaders have now added their voices. But one of Mr Corbyn's most loyal and important allies in the Labour movement is standing firm, Len McCloskey, leader of the Unite movement. Good morning to you. Good morning. Um, now, you are still in the position where, despite everything, you think Jeremy Corbyn should stay until the next election and fight as a Labour leader. Yes, I do. And to be honest, Andrew, it's unhelpful for ex-leaders to be wheeled out. Neil is, a, a, you know, a nice man. But the reality is he was leader of the Labour Party for eight years and lost two elections. Ed Miliband, leader of the Labour Party for five years and lost an election. Gordon Brown, 13 years at the top of our party, including Prime Minister, lost an election. It's not right well, that they on are that, part. On that basis, you'd be willing out Tony Blair. And it's not, no, I won't rule Tony Blair out, but the reality is that le grandees being dragged out to be part of this unedifying coup is quite outrageous. I mean, the reality well, is that this has what? been a political lynching of a decent man, undermined humiliated, attacked, in order to push him out. And here's the, here's the truth. It's failed. The coup has failed. Jeremy Corbyn is made of stronger stuff. He's a man of steel but and he's people, made it clear that he will not step down. The people doing this are not, as it were, the usual suspects, the Blairite MPs. They're people like Lisa Nandy and Angela Eagle, who are MPs on the left of the party. He has lost the left of the party as well. I'll be honest, I'm, I'm amazed that some of the MPs yeah. have fallen into a trap. I think they've been seduced by sinister forces in play here. What sinister forces? Well, well, if the BBC want to do an investigatory programme of a company called Portland, then feel free to do so. This is a PR company with strong links to Tony Blair, right-wing right. Labour MPs... Well, we, can, we can't be associated been, with words like ..who've been critically involved mm. in this orchestrated coup. Okay. And the coup has failed. And I'm astonished that people have left their post, have abandoned their positions, at the very time that we need to be uh, scrutinising this Conservative government after Brexit. We need to know about our members' jobs. We need to know about uh, our employment rights. And Labour MPs should be there fighting for us. But your own union, um, as Neil Kinnock was saying, your own union seems to be turning against Jeremy Corbyn. No, that's not true. Well, there's, a, there's been a poll which is just 79%. Poll, I know is a poll. A poll of, of half a dozen people. Well, the reality why is... Why don't you poll them and then well, find we out? Well, we do. Neil Kinnock's... Um, I'm sorry Andrew. to interrupt. Neil, but Neil Kinnock's quite serious point is that a lot of your members are desperate for a Labour government. They have to have a Labour government, they feel, for their living standards and their employment course, and so forth. And, that's and that is best served by a different leader. And shouldn't you be leading it? That's to why nine months ago, my union... Union overwhelmingly supported Jeremy Corbyn. We're talking about nine months here. It's not a long time. And the reality is it isn't a long time. And, of course, the truth of the matter, if you examine the real polls, we've had four by-elections that Labour have won and increased their majorities in three of them quite considerably. We won the London mayoral right. election, the Bri Bristol, okay. even the local elections in May where people were expecting Jeremy to do badly. Labour did better than the Conservatives, and that was the high watermark of Ed Miliband. So, so that is... As it were the extra parliamentary case for keeping Jeremy Corbyn as leader but inside Parliament you now have complete chaos the same person yes, is having do. to be Northern Ireland secretary Scottish secretary and he's an English MP it's total chaos well, and it can't carry on it, can it cannot carry on and let me just make this mm. uh, point I hope it's an important point the trade unions have always been the rock the anchor that has kept the Labour ship steady in stormy seas and what I'm saying is that because this coup has now failed the trade unions can broker a peace with Jeremy as our leader and the genuine concerns of the PLP. We can bring people what? together. And I'm calling upon Angela Eagle and Owen Smith and anybody else to desist from challenging... What and kind of deal could you offer them? Oh, there's all kinds. We're professional negotiators. Trust me, the General Secretary... So you'd bring in, in a different shadow cabinet? We would bring both parties together and resolve this issue. 
Well, the alternative... You take house, I guess. The alternative, yeah. if Angela goes ahead with this, and I hope she doesn't, or Owen, is that we're plunged into a civil war that will be bitter and ugly and may never uh, allow the Labour Party to reunite again. Why would people want to do that? Give us a chance. Give the trade unions, who've ho always been this solid yeah. uh, block within our party, bring people together and we will resolve the issues. You've said that if Jeremy Corbyn isn't on the ballot and there is a ballot, the Labour Party could split. Do you well, really believe he will that? Be, he will be on the ballot. The legal opinions well, are pretty clear. I well, know you just heard Neil Kinnock reading out the party, party I, law, I, party I, rulebook. Absolutely. And the party, and he talked about candidates, not sitting uh, candidates. Look, the legal opinion is crystal clear. So Jeremy Corbyn will be... Uh, without a Do shadow you think there should now be an honest, open uh, leadership contest? I, mean, I don't. Think you don't. I don't. I'm suggesting that Angela and Owen should desist from this that they should allow the trade union general secretaries to broker a peace. That is the way forward, so that we can mm. reunite, they need to come back on the front line, and we need to challenge this government. And so when you say that these people are dupes of a PR company, but with sinister forces behind them, do you think they're that stupid? Do you think they haven't actually watched Jeremy Corbyn and made their own minds up about him? I think, as you know, Andrew, there's been rumours of coups going on since Jeremy was elected, quite disgracefully, by a core group of MPs, but I do believe that people have been seduced into this belief that uh, it now is the time. For what purpose? Because of the European referendum? Let me just give you some figures. 81% of Labour members voted to remain. 65% of Labour voters voted to remain. 68% right. of Liberal voters voted to remain. I don't hear anybody attacking Some, some people Farrell. will be watching this and saying, really what Len McCluskey thinks is that Jeremy Corbyn can take the ship onto the rocks and s let it sink rather than no, changing course true. while there's still time. That's not true. Look at the results that we've had since Jeremy has been leader. None of them have indicated right. we, that we, we a have falling away this. of Labour support. All right, Len McCluskey, thank you very much indeed for talking to us today.